Min Hasselt in Belgium and we're actually here to see Ridley. So we're actually a, a Ridley stockist and it's quite a nice brand. I've been selling a few over the last few years. But one of the things that bugs me as if you like a bike shop owner, bike fitter, is if I've done a bike fit on someone and they need a 165 crank with an 80 mil stem, a 38 bar, and what have you, a load of maybe fit spec that essentially doesn't come standard with the bike. How do I look as a bike fitter when I'm telling someone that you need a 165 crank, but actually the bike that I want to try and sell you comes standard with a 172 and a half and oh yeah, by the way, that's, that's gonna cause you a problem. Do I take it on the chin as a small independent business and try and pay for that or do I try and find a way of convincing the customer that actually they should pay for it, even though I'm selling them a bike already, then they're lumped with a pair of cranks they don't need? You know, and that's just one example. That's, that's just one example in cranks. Um, usually what I've been doing is been buying that crank back off the customer, punting it on eBay, but that's not really sustainable. It takes a long time and it's not really fair. So for me, when I was looking at doing a buy-in to Ridley Bikes, I, I jokingly said to Richard, the sales rep, well, I'll buy in if you take me to Belgium <laughs> so I can speak to them about st stocking cranks and specking different crank lengths and components on bikes as standard and maybe see what we can do about it. And well, without promising anything, he, he certainly took me to Belgium and so yeah, tomorrow we're going to go and just, I mean, we're having a factory tour and having a look at the fancy spray paint and I'm sure they're going to try and sell me everything that they want to sell me, which is fine and I'm super grateful. But how do you feel about the situation that the bike industry has, has kind of walked you into? You know, you don't know what crank length you need, but actually most bikes that come with cranks longer than 170 are probably too long for almost everyone that rides them. And that's my opinion, yes, but I can verify that opinion quite clearly in a bike fit motion analysis setup that I have and use on a daily basis. And so that it just leads to this constant frustration for me where I'm telling a customer one thing, but I can't fulfill that. So yeah, I guess we'll see tomorrow what becomes of the situation. And maybe I can update you with some good news.